wanted to uh, film this inside, although it's really about camping. It's a bit windy and uh, cold outside. So um, I've been looking at um, car camping videos, what other people do, uh, and van life videos. And um, for a long time now, I've been watching and learning. And the same question seems to pop up all the time on every one. And uh, people would like to give it a go, but are not sure how to get started. So the most popular question is, what do I do about toilets? <laughs> Whether you do it in a, a, a motor caravan, a car, a car or a, a caravan or a motor home uh, or any vehicle. Um, some vehicles do have their own facilities, of course, the purpose-built ones. But um, I thought I would just let you know what I do in a car. Now, it's, it's not something a lot of people want to talk about, but, of course, we all need to go to the toilet at some point. Um, I, I have to have a pee during the night. But um, anyway, well, I've, I've laid stuff out for you to look at, so I'm going to have to move the camera and work with one hand. So let's have a look of, of what I've got to show. Um how to use toilet facilities when you're in limited space um, and you just have to manage. Now I've had years of living in a lorry cab so I'm well used to it but um, in fact there's quite a lot of room in a lorry sleeper cab um, but so now I do it in my car which um, is a bit limited but anyway i'm going to move the camera i'm sat at the moment on my bed which i use so i'll get up and show you what that is um car campers quite often start off with uh, modifying their own car and um, getting some pieces of wood and building a platform to use as a bed now, uh, I did think about doing that, but I thought, well, I don't really need to because I've actually got a sun lounger. Um, so I could use that and it works perfectly. So let me just lift up. Oh, lift up. Flip the screen. So I can see what you're seeing. Right, this is my sun lounger here it is six foot long um, i've got it out of the car at the moment just to show but um, here you go this is it's a metal frame um i've got the original mattress on there now i've got an extra piece of foam which folds over into two two really well and i've covered it in a um well, a duvet cover, so I've covered it. So that is what I sleep on. Underneath is quite a lot of storage sp space. So, and I use these boxes for my storage underneath there. So I can get about four or five of these boxes underneath. Um, I must say it's very comfortable to sleep on and I um, use my uh, duvet bedding off my bed upstairs and um, so yes so what happens when I want to have a pee in the night <laughs> well I do actually have a porta potty but that's no good in the car because uh, I've got no headroom not enough headroom um, if I go camping on a site uh, and have a pitch on a site I put the tent up next to the car and then that tent is then my washroom um, so I can actually go on a site that has no facilities so um, the thing about porta potties you are supposed to use um, a proper chemical in there 
and um, you can only empty that into proper uh, disposable places, disposal places. So um, I don't use that very much, actually, because I've got a better system. So I've got my camping stove there. Um, I've got a piece of metal there to put around it to shield it from the wind. And now, when you need to use the toilet um, and, and do a number one and a two, <laughs> You need to do a number one first. Now I use this bucket there. It, it is a painter's bucket actually. It's just a painter's bucket. I thought that's a perfect size. And I actually made this little cover for it out of a, a lid of a chocolate box. So that fits on nicely. A little cap um, and keeps it well, keeps it tidy, really. <laughs> um, yeah, so pee first. Now, in the mornings, you maybe don't want to know this, I do need to do a number two first. <laughs> After the first pee, and then I go to a number two, because my bowels are regular. Now, just a quick word about bowels. If you eat dodgy food... Um, your bowels are going to be all over the place. So I eat proper decent food. Uh, my body is, well, it's very finely tuned, actually. And uh, <laughs> and I, it's quick and easy for me every morning if I need to do a number two. Now, if, if there are facilities nearby, well, I will use them. But when I'm stuck uh, and I really need to go, well... This works for me. So here we have, it is actually a plastic mixing bowl, right? And put a bag in it and some tissue paper. And I've also made a cap for that, a mop cap, so that um, when I have used it, I can sort of fold, the, fold it in and put the cap on until I can find a bin to put it in. Now, there's not much difference between a, a, my poo and a doggy poo. It's all poo. So I will put that in a doggy poo bin or, or a proper proper bin. I will double bag it as well. Um, so it's got one bag in and I carry bags with me of different um, and the tissue paper can actually go in there with it as well. And more fresh bags and a good supply of bags. So how do I perch on that? Um, it, it is a bit difficult, I must say, but I've got this genius way of doing it. So this is a nest, a small, the small one of a nest of three tables. Uh, little coffee tables. So I thought, hmm, I know, I could put that on its side like that, right? Strong, solid. And then I can put that inside like that. Now I can perch on that um, inside my car. So, <laughs> um, but I'm quite skinny. <laughs> so, um, that's solid enough to do what I need to do uh, and then, as I say, bag it up, double bag it and dispose in the proper manner. Um, for washing, now if, if I'm wanting a really big wash, um, which is not that often really because, I mean, if I go out for a few days, I, I just have washes with a sponge, water, um, and uh, well a, a, a flannel anything like that but I don't very often need a big bowl of water for a wash I can manage with a wash with that size bowl see old chocolate box put some water in there and uh, <coughs> excuse me um, and have a wash inside the car I can do all of this inside the car so let's have a look at the washing gear so wet wipes are handy to have um, always useful 
So I have a sponge, sponge, sponge. <coughs> oh dear, I'm going to cough again. <coughs> sponge, flannel, uh, bits and bobs. What I find useful is um, using these panty liners. Because actually you can get away with wearing the same pair of pants for several days. You just put a fresh panty liner in. Uh, and then that is after you've done your washing in your bowl of water. Uh, and it's all good to go. So, soap. A little bit of soap there. Hairbrush there. Uh, moisturiser. I like to moisturise my face. Um, and... Toothpaste. Well, I have a small toothbrush. And also, I don't bring out a whole toothpaste thingy. You see, that is nearly at the end of its usage. But there's still some more left in it. So all I'm going to need on a, on a week's trip is that much toothpaste. So, and there you are, bottles of water. Um, I, I tend to use smaller bottles of water. I do have a really big um, water container. and um, But if I'm, I'm, I might take it for a week away. But uh, other, other times I just have like half a dozen of these. That does for my drinking water, my washing water, my cooking water, my coffee water. Uh, and that's, that's about it, actually. So it is so easy. Now, my car has got privacy glass in the back. Um, I don't even put curtains in. and uh, Because stealth camping is all about nobody knowing that you are there. So um, once I've got back to the car, after a day out, once I've got back to the car, um, I will get in the back with my bed ready laid out, um, my food underneath, there get the cooker out do what i want to do my cooking i don't cook like you see some of them cooking i do not <laughs> i do not fill the car with steam and cooking smells generally something quite easy and simple like warming some water up for some noodles but uh, <clears throat> anyway so that is that's how i that's how i do it basically I mean, you might be able to actually build something like like a frame that would fit a bowl inside, which would take your weight. I am, I think I'm about just under nine stone. So as long as you've got the plastic bags, the toilet paper, um, it's it's very easy. Yes, I am a bit limited for head height. Um, and I have to sometimes change my clothes while lying down in the bed. But that's the fun of car camping. Anyway, I hope that's been useful to people. Um, and give it a go if you are wondering, what do I do about the toilet? Oh, whoa, I do it all in the car. <laughs> it's easy. So anyway, shall we have a... A quick hello and goodbye. Quick hello. Goodbye. See, I'm going to now put this back in the car because I hope to be going out and doing some trips. So, thank you for popping in. Uh, let's give it a go. Do your car camping. Uh, gather a few bits and pieces like I have. Plastic bowls. And buckets, little buckets. I mean, men will have it a lot easier, of course, because they can just jump out and pee in the bushes. <laughs> but uh, um, so it is, yes, it is a bit more difficult for ladies who want to uh, not flash everybody. <laughs> but uh, anyway, thanks for popping in. See you next time. Have a good time camping in your car. Bye for now. Do the people.